About a year ago, EcoFlow released the Delta 3 Plus. It fell in line with their new modern silver design of the Delta Pro 3, and it offered tons of plugs, ports, and features. And aside from the one major issue that we had during our testing in that original video, which they later fixed with a software update, it was a great unit. This year though, they seem to have been stepping backwards, releasing units like the Delta 3 Classic and the Delta 3 Max, both of which follow their new kind of modern build, but they have the classic darker color scheme. Both of these units have less features than the units that they seem to have replaced, which a lot of power station nerds might get all heated about. But the reality is EcoFlow is giving a lot of people a cheaper entry point to get into a pretty decent power station. So the Delta 3 Classic was recently added to their lineup. It's currently the cheapest Delta that they actually sell, and it might just be the best choice to get you into portable power. So welcome back to the lab where our opinions cannot be bought. As always, we will leave links to the products that we talk about in the description down below, as well as any coupon codes that we can get from EcoFlow to save you guys some money. If you don't know exactly what power station you need and you're still confused, we actually have a whole quiz you guys can take. It takes 30 seconds, spits you out an instant recommendation of a power station that we recommend for you guys based on your needs. So before we jump into our experience with this new power station here at the lab, we're gonna hit you with a super quick spec teardown in case you're not already up to speed with the Delta Three Classic. So first up, this thing passes the tiny baby lift test. It only weighs 27 pounds. It's got a 1,024 watt hour battery bank. And this unit specifically is not expandable. When it comes to output, it has an 1,800 watt inverter. And when it comes to putting power into this, you can charge it with a regular house outlet in your home at 1,400 watts. In our testing, it charged in about 55 minutes from zero to full. And it also has a 500 watt solar input, which is kind of low compared to some of the other products out there, but you could basically charge this to full in just about two hours with solar. In terms of ports and plugs on this thing, we have three 120 volt house plugs on the front, one of which is not grounded, two USB-Cs, one USB-A, and on the back behind the little trap door, you have your AC input as well as your solar input. That's it. There's very minimal plugs and ports on this power station. The screen is simple, the classic EcoFlow screen. It's not their newer style. It's their older style on a newer body. It's kind of weird, but it shows you everything you need to know. Nothing more, nothing less. It is nice and bright. It's very easy to read outdoors, which a lot of power stations are not. And the app is fine. It doesn't let you do anything crazy on there. It lets you turn the inverters on and off from afar. There's a couple settings you can adjust, but there's no crazy features hidden inside that app. And right now with our discount code, you can get this thing for $388, which is the cheapest Delta that they have for sale. First thing that we like about the Delta 3 Classic is that it's less for less. At first, we were kind of bummed out by the lack of plugs and ports and features that this has. It is kind of weird that EcoFlow has taken the new approach where they have like multiple layers to every unit instead of just giving us one good one. But it turns out that that's actually a pretty big pro because if you don't need a lot of plugs and features and you just want a simple power station at a really good price, you can get this one and it's got less of everything and it comes in at a really decent price. But if you're just looking for something with less plugs and ports, maybe you're just trying to keep your fridge on during a power outage, run a couple devices, or you're trying to use this for portable power, camping, tailgating at the beach, something like that, where you only need access to a couple plugs, this is a good unit and it is the cheapest option in EcoFlow's lineup. We also really liked that the testing on this was pretty good. It charged, like we said earlier, from zero to full in about 55 minutes. It was 83% efficient, which is basically an A. It means when you're running loads and stuff, it's not wasting a ton of power, just converting it from DC to AC. And the idle consumption was only about 17 watts per hour. So if you have the inverter on, but you're not using it, you have like a sump pump plugged into it and it turns on and off every once in a while, it's only gonna use 17 watts every hour just idling. So it lasts about two and a half days just on, just running. We also really like that this thing is it's actually pretty rare that you get a cheap power station that is also very quiet. It's really nice if you were to take this camping or if we were just using this to run the lights while we're filming something, you wouldn't have to hear it. A lot of other power stations make enough noise that you don't really want them near you when you're using them because they're just annoying to listen to. So the fact that this is a really cheap unit from EcoFlow yet it's still really quiet is a huge pro. And the last thing that we really like about this unit is that they've changed the style a bit from the old Delta II, where all of the USBs were on the front and all of the AC plugs were on the back. We much prefer having your USBs and your AC plugs and everything on the front. The back is strictly for charging, whether it's AC or solar. Overall, it's just a better design. It's more compact, it's more sleek. 
while the color scheme isn't necessarily up to par with all their new stuff, it still looks really good, it functions well, it's durable. The plastics on this actually feel more durable than the silver, which is nice, but overall, it's just a good design, nice big spots for your hands, we like it. You guys had to see this coming. The first thing that we don't like is that there's all this extra space on a very bland power station. There's not a lot going on, there's no light. This thing's perfect for portable power, taking it camping or taking it tailgating or whatever. There's no light built into it, even though there's a ton of space on this unit for a light. EcoFlow really needs to figure it out. They only give us lights on their power stations that are so small they don't need them. To go hand in hand with that, there is no 12 volt car socket on this unit at all. Not even in the trap door. Tiny Baby hates this because there's nowhere for him to charge his tiny little penis. If you have a unit like this, odds are, again, if you're using it for portable power, there's a lot of devices that plug right into a 12 volt car socket, whether that's a tire pump or trying to make the most out of your relatively small battery that's inside of this by running a 12 volt fridge, you can't. There is no way to run any 12 volt appliances off of this. They do have 12 volt car sockets on the Delta 3 Max and the Delta 3 Plus, whatever their new lineup array is. But aside from being confusing, they just should have it on here, period. Another thing we don't love is that EcoFlow advertises this as being capable with their smart generator. But what they mean by that is you can plug the regular house plug that charges this thing with AC power into the front of their smart generator. There's no communication. The whole point of the smart generator is that EcoFlow power stations can turn it on and off when they need power. So you don't have to do anything. It's supposed to be smart and do all that work for you. It's just as capable as running with the smart generator as it is with any generator that's ever been made and a regular plug in your house. Like there's just, it's just weird. You might buy this thinking you're gonna get the smart capabilities of that generator and you're not. And the last thing that we don't like about this is that, well, yes, it's less for less. There's just nothing going on on this unit. Even if you're, you know, bringing this around and you just want to have people charge their phones, you have two USB-Cs, USB-As are pretty much gone, like no one uses that anymore. So you can basically charge two phones off of this at once, and then you're going to have to start using your brick in here, which is just wasting power. The bare minimum, what they could have done is just gave us a shitload of USBs on the front of this like they used to do with the older Delta units. I don't know why EcoFlow does what they do, but it doesn't always make sense. So who is this power station really for? Honestly, it's mainly for people who want light home backup. It's portable, yes, but it's just not the best for that. In our opinion, if you're looking at this and you are sold on the EcoFlow and the low price point, that's great. But we would recommend going with the Pecron E1000 for the same price, you get a ton more plugs, ports, and actual usable features. This is fine, but it just doesn't seem to do enough, especially considering it's still $400. Like it's not a, a free unit. If you don't know what you're looking for, just take our quiz, it takes 30 seconds, gives you an instant recommendation. Otherwise, that's all we got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace out and stay charged.